We have known for some time that during COVID-19 infection, the SARS-CoV-2 virus will infect the sperm-producing cells in the testicles. We also know that in some men, this results in lower sperm quality. What we didn't know is whether the decrease was only in men who became very sick or only in men who had a high fever. We also did not have information about how long sperm production is affected. Stay tuned and I will explain. It has long been known that exposure of the testicles to heat has an adverse effect on sperm production. One source of heat is a fever. Studies have shown that fevers in men, especially if it is a prolonged fever, can result in a temporary decline in their sperm production. For example, when a man is infected with the flu virus and develops a fever, the percentage of moving sperm will decline. The severity of that decline is linked to the severity of the fever with a a maximal decrease in sperm movement seen 37 days later. After that, there is gradual improvement so that by about 54 days after the fever, sperm movement has returned to normal. Viruses can also affect sperm production without a fever. One example is the mumps virus. This virus can infect the testicles directly and cause swelling and inflammation. If this happens, about 10 to 15% of those men will see their sperm numbers drop. In some cases, the numbers could drop to zero. SARS-CoV-2, the virus which causes COVID-19, can infect the testicles and can cause a fever. A number of studies have demonstrated a decline in sperm numbers or movement in men who developed COVID-19. A new study has added to the growing amount of data about COVID-19 infections and male fertility. About 120 men were recruited for this study. These men were recruited because they had tested positive for COVID-19, not because they were having fertility problems. This study showed for the first time that poorer sperm production occurred in men with COVID-19 infection, whether they had a fever or not. In other words, it was the virus itself that caused the problem, not a fever. Men with severe illness can also see lower sperm quality. However, this study showed poor sperm production in men with mild COVID-19 infection or men who were unaware that they had a COVID-19 infection and that this occurred just as often as men who became severely ill and were hospitalized. As a fertility specialist, there were two important questions that I had. First, how commonly is sperm affected? Second, how long does this problem last? Remember, with the flu, about 10 to 15% of men develop sperm problems, but it resolved within about two months. This new study showed us that decreased sperm quality is more common with COVID. 37% of men had low sperm counts within one month of a COVID-19 infection. How long does it last? Between one and two months, about 29% of men had low sperm counts. Between two and six months, 6% 6 of men still had low sperm counts. Sperm movement was affected even more commonly. 60% of men had low progressive motility within one month of their COVID infection. 37% still had low motility at two months, but most concerning, 28% still had low motility between two and six months later. What have we learned? COVID infections result in a drop in sperm counts in over one third of men, and those abnormalities are still present in about one in 20 men, even six months later. Even worse, about two thirds of men will show a drop in sperm motility, and half of those men still had problems identified up to six months later. The most concerning factor is that these sperm problems developed in men with mild infections and in men who had no symptoms. Our Infertility TV advice is to try to avoid getting COVID. COVID vaccinations in men do not cause any changes in sperm production and can significantly reduce the chance for becoming infected. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.